with Saeed Ben Rama going on a loan with a buy option to Olympic Lyon. Um, we will be yet to do a farewell video on him unless they trigger the buy option um, when the season ends. But for now, we will be saying goodbye to Pablo Fornells. Now, if you look at my videos, I've been a big critic of Pablo Fornells, but I keep these farewell videos um, depending on the player, looking back at some good times. And I've seen a lot worse at West Ham, so I'm not going to um, go in on Pablo Fornells as much as I think some of the stuff I'm seeing makes me want to vomit um, when, when people talk about him. But what I will say is, um, let's just get into this. Uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new, and let's talk about... Pablo Fornals. Pablo Fornals is going to leave to join Real Betis under former West Ham manager Manuel Pellegrini, who signed him for West Ham in the nineteen twenty season. Uh, Pablo <coughs> uh, talked to in this interview about ambitions for Europe at the time, because that was the talk at the time under under Manuel Pellegrini. But uh, he didn't really settle into this first season that well. He was coming back from another league. He wasn't really settling in and it was quite a hard West Ham team to settle into at the time purely because of the mess that was going on and some of the players that he was playing with. But the very not, very um highly regarded from the under-21 Euros with Danny Ceballos, uh, he, West Ham United signed him from Villarreal. Now... Pablo Fornals' career really kicked into gear when David Moyes took over. And the first thing that David Moyes said, according to Mikel Antonio, was the running stats aren't good enough. And that really benefited in, in Pablo Fornals' favour. He then got into the team more in the 1920 season anyway, but became a regular starter in the 2021 season where you could probably see his best season at West Ham. In my personal opinion, probably his best season at West Ham, but maybe you could say the season after. Um, and he was uh, a crucial player playing off the left and sometimes in the number 10 role. He could play in the number 8, he could play in the number 6, he could play off the right, left, middle and a number 10, etc. And originally wearing a number 18 shirt in the lockdown season, the main hi the main highlights was probably... The goal against Leicester, uh, where he takes that amazing touch and then slots it in. But also the the brace against Southampton on the last game of the season to officially confirm a top six finish for West Ham to get us into the Europa League. And Fornals was obviously having a child at the time and he obviously celebrated with all of that as well. Um, you can see that Fornals is a humble guy that very nice, wanted to do well and just wanted to get on with it, very passionate. And throughout the 21-22 season, you can also see um, Fornals um, uh, performing to an even higher level, you could argue, even though it's close between the two seasons that I'm talking about, the 2021 season and the 21-22 season, where you could argue either of them were his best season at West Ham. But in the 21-22 season... The crowds were back, and even in a better way, cup against Atalanta, he was, he was class. That was my first game going back, and then throughout the season, obviously he scored against uh, Leicester, and he was a him and Ben Rama became regular starters. Uh, after Jesse Lingard's deal wasn't made permanent, it was him, Ben Rama, Bowen, Antonio as the front four that, with, them on the counter attack, was devastated at times especially in the first half of that season before West Ham dipped off. dipped off, And the goal against Liverpool was probably the highlight. Uh, the counter, the Bowen dribbling and sliding it into Pablo Fornals and him finishing it, that was probably the highlight game. And this, I, I'm, I'm not going to majorly criticise the guy uh, in this video because I've done it in many other videos before, but... Um, you can see what what it meant to him. Obviously, the West Ham are massive everywhere we go. Where he did that, I'm pretty sure it was severe that he did it, that he said all of that. Um, and he was very key into the Europa League campaign. Uh, the Yarmolenko goal came from 
the rebound of his shot. And he played really well in that season as well. And unfortunately, we only reached the semi-final. And he wasn't great last season, to be honest with you. I didn't think he was good at all. But one moment that will always, always um, live with me is that outcome goal. We were going to win the game anyway. And you can see by Danny Ings' reaction that he knew that as well. But West Ham, it was 0-0, 2-1 on aggregate to West Ham at Hazel Alkmaar in Amsterdam, I'm pretty sure. And Pablo Fornaus comes on for Said Benrahma. And Benrahma was playing well, but when Fornaus came on, you you want to see out the game with him, with his work rate. The only time you really want to see him on the wing is when you're already winning and you need to see out a game and you're going to put him off the left because he covers ground well and he probably bailed out Aaron Cresswell quite a lot when tracking back as well, if we're being completely honest. And he came on against Alkmaar, the ball drops to him, he dribbles, he nutmegs someone and you could just see it when you're spectating that this is going to go in. And he actually finished a shot. And he nutmegs someone. Ings puts his arms in the air. Already knowing that West Ham have won. Regardless of what happens. But Pablo Fornaus confirms West Ham's place. Into the Conference League final. And that was. Part of an amazing campaign. That allowed us to win our first trophy. In over 40 years. And. Fornaus. Um as much as I criticised him, did a lot for the club and was still a big reason why we got into Europe in the first place and we will be forever a cult hero. Um, so thank you, Pablo, for now. Enjoy your time at Real Betis um, under Pellegrini. And he could probably win the Conference League again. Uh, they're probably favourites. Because uh, they've dropped out from the Europa League. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you every for everything. And yeah, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you are new. Social media is in the description if you want to follow me. The email for the inquiries. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.